Hey, this is a video for Chris, aka Tiston Elevator 95, and this is how I wired my gong. First of all, I got lazy and used cheap wire. I don't recommend it. I recommend you use at least 18 gauge. But, um, anyways, and also, uh, as a reminder, um, as with pretty much all electronics projects, um, always exercise caution if you're in a kid always do it under uh, parental supervision I take uh, no liability uh, liability for the instructions given here in the, this video um, keep in mind that um, this gong takes although it's available in mul many different voltages um, from 12 including 12 um, up to 36 which is the or 30 volts, which is the Yoda standard. This one here takes 48 to 120 volts AC or DC. Kind of interesting. So we can use it right off a of mains power, but keep in mind that the mains power can easily kill you. So um, this is a standard computer jack I'm just going to use. And uh, I had it all soldered up, but I since desoldered it, and I just have a test clip there. So, here's a brief explanation. Let me get the Gorilla Pod down. Now, this is a positive terminal. It actually um, does not mean. It actually is. Uh, uh, polarity is not. Uh, now, um, if you are. If you're putting this in series with LEDs, polarity will be an issue, as the LEDs are, well, diodes. But, um, but in our case, in my case, uh, I'm not, so anyways, this is a positive uh, connector. I have that connected to one side on this switch. It's my push for inspection switch. Keep in mind, now, each um, bu button manufacturer varies. These are the Acme GAL buttons, quote-unquote Acme. On one side, these two connectors um, will complete a circuit if the button is pushed down. On the other, though, um, if it's pulled up, they're, um, they're electrically uh, connected. And uh, some buttons are, all the buttons I have on right now are like that. Um, but there are buttons where um, that's not the case. So keep that in mind. So anyways, from a, a positive, I have a wire going towards one end of the connectors. Once again, if I turn on my multimeter, Right now, we have a connection, and once again, you can. I'd always recommend using a multimeter, even with an electronics project like this. So, I have uh, positive leads going to each of the switches. Well, the two switches I'm going to be using. Uh, this one being the up, this one being the down. And um, going to the box, there's one common, which will be the neg, which will be uh, our negative. Now, um, so you'll want to connect one to each side of the switches. Make sure that they're the side that is not electrically connected when um, the button is uh, depressed, which would be this side and this side. Right now, there's an electrical connection, which uh, which is broken when the button is pressed. So, that being the case, I have uh, two different leads to the gong coming off the other side of the contacts. 
and then the common from the gong going right to the uh, outlets, the uh, negative portion of the outlet. And also for safety reasons, it's always good to ground things. This um, box actually has a uh, came with a came with a connection from uh, the bottom portion to the top portion. And so um, you use a bigger, much bigger wire than this. This is just for purposes of demonstration. Screw, the, screw that in. Um, does not want to cooperate. And this does not want to stay, which you not something I'd want to do regularly. Since you you always want to have a good ground. Well, see, I'm used to working with radio equipment, so that's why I'm always nuts about grounds. So connect that to. At this point, uh, we have a. Uh, um, both both parts of the case grounded. Connect that to the ground point and with the multimeter. Placing that at the ground. Make sure you have a good ground. So you can just simply test that for circuit continuity. which it's good. So um, simply uh, solder these together. Once again, you'd, I highly recommend using a higher gauge wire than this. And uh, you should be good to go. Now once again though, since as a project, especially using mains power though, I would never s suggest uh, leaving this plugged in and of course exercise common sense obviously so that's basically how I've wired my gong